Hi all, in this video we're going to be looking at some chart macro. Now, chart macros are a pain. The object model is different. It's not use, it's not grid. Um, it's very object oriented and so I was going to make this quick video, do this really awesome thing, which um, this actually is awesome, but uh, it's really a lot more in depth and so I wanted to go deeper on this one and so I'm going to start a series here on chart and this is what we're doing. So I've got a macro. Um, this is common. Most of the time you know who your competitors are and so you want to highlight them on all your charts and color code them. And so what I've done is I've created a macro that will go in and color color code these and actually the way that this is written and we'll get to this later is if you have charts on other sheets as long as this is in the same workbook it's actually going to do the same thing so when I press this button it's going to go through every single chart it's going to recolor it based on the color here so Dalmner is red Ford right here is orange Honda and that one is green and all the other ones and Hyundai is gray and so we don't have time to get through this whole thing but I do want to spend some time looking at the chart object I want to look at the full series collection I want to look at X value points or X values and points and so we'll go through each one of those and so what I want to do is I want to show you how I got there because sometimes that's important um, because I'm not omniscient I'm not Google um, and so let me show you what I did so we're gonna make a macro this is going to be chart test we're gonna save it in this workbook and we're gonna do something very simple and that is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna pick a point here let's pick that guy we are going to right click on that we're gonna just change it to black which is fine once it's changed to black we are good to go there and I'm going to stop recording so what I've done now is I've recorded a macro that will click on this workbook go in and change its color to black and so let's go and take a look at that so I hit alt F11 and we're gonna to go to module 2 and now I'm gonna show you what I did to drill down to the actual chart stuff and so the first thing I did is I said oh, okay well I need to get the chart so let's go dim chrt as chart okay and then we're going to set chrt as not as equal to active chart okay now we're gonna come in here so we're gonna run this we're gonna come in here now we've got our chart module now I've got my locals windows open and if you click on view you can get your locals windows and it will drill into this object now it's got a lot of stuff but the key here is that we found when we recorded is we're looking for the full series collection so let's go dim FS as full series collection and then what we're going to do is we're going to set fs equal to chrt dot full series collection one okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to come back up here and we're going to click on this guy it's going to give me an error aha what i did there is i actually tried to do it to the full series collection full series collection will pull in all of them and if you drill into it you will see that we've got a couple things going on we've got item one which if we drill down to this is going to if I poke around and this is what I did you see your series information you see where that came from and if you scroll down here you've got your X values Oh, okay so X values are your descriptors your values are your actual your numbers and so what I was able to figure out by drilling through this a little bit is I found that full series collection is equal to this is your first series collection this is your second series collection your X values happen to be whatever is in your index and your points happen to be the value and so that is all we're going to look at here but as we drill into the next sections I'm going to show you how to go through every sheet or go through every sheet and every chart and we're going to drill into how to grab the color from a cell um, and this should be an actual uh, a really fun little project that uh, will impress your boss when you're done so hope you enjoyed